What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Happy Cupboards reaction. We're going to be jumping into the next one on our Lord of the Lost journey. A split third mine official video over on Napalm Records. If you guys enjoy it, definitely go show them some love. We're already subbed up for sure. Let's jump in. Let's see what we got. It's coming out of from Monique B. Much, much love, my dear. I do appreciate it. Uh, let's see what we got with this one. We got full sound. That's good. I got my trigger. It's Whoa. automatic. Got my reactions. They're automatic. And after all that I've been through, I project my fears on you. I've got my memories. Places I've been Like wooden fragments Stuck in my skin ah, That's a hell of a way to say it This is already super powerful Damn it, and you know it's gonna get bigger It only gets bigger from here That's what I say, we haven't reached the chorus yet the Choruses are always bigger This is intense His voice in this one is ridiculous though Like, I don't know Vampire Lestat Ridiculous, like let's go. Very, very cool. Wooden fragments stuck in my skin. And after all that I've been through, try to hide my scars from you. I, damn, I do that. I don't want you to know, cause I don't, don't want you to go. Could you still love me? Wow. With a splintered mind Could you still want me? When you don't know what you might find Hey, I was saying that's a question a lot of people out there ask themselves. A lot of people keep themselves from relationships. Keep themselves from love because they think in their mind, Oh, nobody could ever love me because of X, Y, or Z. Because I've got these flaws, because of this, because of that. We convince ourselves that we're not worthy of it. Or that what we have already is good enough. Even though we're not necessarily, maybe not necessarily happy where we're at. We say, okay, at least I'm comfortable. At least I'm good enough. Because no one else out there will want me. Why think that way? Look around. You realize how many people there are in the world? Do you realize what the odds are of you not finding somebody that you're compatible with? At least a couple hundred thousand somebodies, probably. It doesn't matter what you've been through. I have my own scars. I have my own things like that that I used to try to hide, too. Here I am. You guys know a lot about me. A lot more about me in the last short time that we've been together than a lot of people do that have known me for a long time. It's just, you can't let that hold you back. You can't let your, whatever you've been through, be a weight. Be some sort of anchor that you're carrying around. Cut it loose. Nobody gives a damn about that. March forward. Like, put your trust into somebody. Put your trust into people. Even if it's a special somebody that you think might, you, if you think there might be some sort of a chance, what's the point in not taking it? Behind the shattered lens, I see the world through. Coloring my thoughts, distorting my view. If I let you see what's broken inside of me, could you still love The splintered minds. We've all got splintered minds. Not everybody's willing to admit it. Sometimes I get so stuck in my head. Sometimes I can't get out of my bed. This is just a sign of Could you still love me? Well, this 
Splintered mind. Will you take me as I am? Would you catch me when I fall? Could you take me as I am? When you don't know what you might find, it's part of the fun, ladies and gentlemen. Not knowing what you might find along the way is part of the fun of being in a relationship. Legitimately, I don't want to know everything there is to know about you because I don't want to get bored. Because I always want there to be some sort of new discovery that we can take. Some sort of new thing that I find out. I like that spontan spontaneity. I think I just took it back too far. But that's alright. We're going to dive back into it. Like legitimately. Very, very cool. Very, very powerful questions in there. Will you take me as I am? Will you catch me when I fall? We all fall eventually. Having somebody to catch you is the greatest feeling in the world. When you feel like you don't have anybody that's on your team, I'm saying you just haven't looked hard enough. Get out there. Look around. Make some friends. Everybody on this world is capable of making friends, of capable of meeting somebody new. We stop ourselves a lot of times. Let's go. Very, very cool. Beautiful scene. A beautiful, just kind of questions. Let people know they're not alone. A lot of people thinking about like that. We live in a splintered world. We've all got splintered minds at the moment. Let these credits run out so everybody gets their due credit. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lord of the Lost, a splintered mind. A very kind of uh, close to home one for me. Like, I used to feel a lot of the same things that he's singing about. I used to worry about a lot of the same things that he's singing about. I know a lot of people out there are worried about the same things. Guess what? You don't have to worry. Your odds are a lot less to never have someone in your corner than they are to have a whole heap of people or to have a whole heap of princes lined up outside of your house. Whatever it is you're looking for, you just got to go out there and get it. Legitimately, don't let anything from your past haunt you. Don't let it drag you down daily. Cut those ties. All it was was learning. That's it. 
We all learn. We all have to learn. Otherwise, we die. It's the way that it works in life. You either get smart or you die. Like, it's as simple as that. It's nature. If you guys enjoyed it, though, definitely get over to show Napalm Records some love. We're already subbed up. We're hitting the like button. You should do the same. Hit the like button here if you liked it. The dislike button if you disliked it. Check out the other video up there or one of these guys up here. Until the next one, how the bustle. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. Love you to the moon and back. Peace.